What is going on gamers? Evertrix here and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how I go about making my thumbnails on YouTube. Now because Castle Clash has been pretty much down all day, I figure it is but the perfect time to go ahead and show you guys because I have gotten a quite, quite a few questions regarding how I make my thumbnails and all that. So I'm going to show you what I use which is Photoshop obviously and the way that I go about it. Now keep in mind I am not a pro at Photoshop. Matter of fact I'm still pretty much a beginner. Um, considering all that there is to show in Photoshop but I am going to show you what I do and you can either copy it or improve upon it depending on what you're trying to accomplish now of course the first thing that you want to do is you go go ahead and click on new to create a new file and for a YouTube thumbnail specifically you'd want to go with this dimensions 1280 as far as the width and 720 for the height you can cut you can pretty much just copy all of this right here and then you can go ahead and create it and this is what it's going to look like this is going to be your template this is where you start putting in pictures PNG files etc now I go about it a bit differently I actually have a template that I have ready and essentially this is just what I use for every single thumbnail and instead of having to do it over and over again I just use this template and it saves me quite a bit of time for every single thumbnail so with that being said, let me go ahead and pull up this, uh, this template and show you what it looks like. So here it is. This is my template. This is where all my thumbnails start. So you have my logo, you have a border, and you have an empty background. Now, the first thing that you want to add is, of course, a background image. Now, you can get creative here. This is where you can put pretty much anything that you want as a background and do anything with it. Now. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and do a Dragon Ball Super thumbnail. For what reason? Because whatever. I <laughs> I love the show, so I'm going to go ahead and do a thumbnail for it just because. Now, the first thing that I'm going to need, of course, is a background. Now, the easiest way to get a background is either to go on Google Images, search for a background that you that you like, and then just copy the image. You don't even necessarily have to save the image. You can just copy it and paste it onto Photoshop. So let me go ahead and do that right now. All right, and we're back. Now, I went ahead and chose my image. Now, on this one, of course, it's a little too big for what I want. And it's on top of everything. So there's a few things that we have to fix right away. Now, what I do to, first of all, paste the picture is I go and hit Control V once you have copied the image and it's going to put it right here. After the fact, you go ahead and you hit Control T and that is going to allow you to actually resize the image to whatever size you want. Now, of course, I want it to fit my thumbnail. So I'm going to have to resize it to where it's going to fit. And of course, you can change it however you like. You can move it up and down, however you want to do it. So that to me looks good. So once you have the correct size, you hit OK and that looks good. Now, the only thing is, is that it's on top of everything. And this is where this right here on the right hand side, your layers, this is going to be very important. This picture is on top of everything because the layer is on top of everything else that I have. So to fix that, all I have to do is click on the layer hold it and drag it all the way down so let me show you what that looks like there you go so now I have everything else on top of it but you can still see the background that is very important the next thing that I want to do is my my border it just looks a little a little too bright for me so essentially what I want to do is I want to click on my border and I am going to hit Control alt M and this is going to bring up this screen right here which is curves and essentially what this allows you to do is either make something brighter which is not what I want to do or make it darker which is actually exactly what I want to do so I make it a little bit darker to be to better fit the image and here you go now it looks a little better in my opinion now this is where it gets a little interesting because this is where I start adding PNG files and PNG files is basically images that you can put on top of other ones and there's no background to them so because we're gonna do a Dragon Ball Super one I'm gonna go ahead and grab one to show you what else you can do with it alright so here we go I added a Jiren PNG file and essentially this is just gonna be right in the middle of your thumbnail you can resize it once again to however you see fit so let's go ahead and do something like this 
you can move it wherever you want let's just say we want to put him here right and then you hit OK so now you have your character but what if you want to take it a step further what if you want to polish it out a little bit more well, this is where you go back over here to your layers. You find your PNG image. And by the way, PNG images are very easy to find on Google Images. You just make sure that you put PNG and more than likely you're going to find tons of whatever you're looking for, unless it's not very popular. Um, but once you do that, I added the picture. Now I can right click right here and go to the top blending option. Easiest way to find it. You go here and then it is going to pop up this screen right here. Now there's a few things that I like to do, but of course there's a lot of different options here. You can play around with them, see what you like. Um, but here's what I would usually do for an image like this. First of all, I like to use the bevel because it just adds a little bit to it. So if you can tell, look at look at the image right now, and then look how it looks afterwards. It just makes it crisper. And on this one, I'm feeling in an outer glow. This is basically a glow that's going to be outside of the image. You can either also do an inner glow, but I don't think it fits on this one. So with an outer glow and an image like this, uh, you can choose whatever color you want. Now it's it's uh, on yellow right now, but I want to pick a red. Now you can always go here, pick whatever red you want, or if you want to be super specific, once you click on the color, you can actually go to the image and pick a color directly from the image and it will copy it for you. So let me show you. If I pick the red on him and click it, there it is. It'll copy the red that's directly there. So keep that in mind. So once you do that, you click OK. There's also some drop shadows that you can use. Just depends on what you want to do. So here, you continue to add PNG files depending on what you want to do. Of course, you can add text. Uh, you know, if, if you want to make a text that's big, that maybe it says, you know, how to make YouTube thumbnails, whatever it is, you can add that. But once you figure this out, once you keep going with it, this is what it'll eventually is going to look like at the end. All right. So here is the end result. So basically, we took an empty image, a template, and we added some images of uh, ourselves and change them up a little bit and this is what we ended up with so you can do this in the, doesn't matter what game what you're doing on YouTube you can you can do stuff like this to make your thumbnails look better make your videos look more presentable uh, you can like I've I've had issues with uh, with Photoshop before and I had to upload videos without a thumbnail and it just it felt incomplete like I didn't complete the job because if I make a video and just throw it out there without any thumbnail it just it just looks unprofessional in my opinion so that's why I really really enjoy making the thumbnails it does take a lot of work a lot of times it does take a lot of time and a lot of times it doesn't go appreciated enough but if you pride yourself on it and you start making thumbnails look really really good then that's really all that matters and there are a lot of people that actually do appreciate that. So if you're up and coming YouTuber or if you want to start YouTube or depending on whatever you want to do, thumbnails is a very good way to get yourself noticed, at least your videos. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this video and let's hope that Castle Clash comes back up here pretty soon. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and until later, bye.